As you've been tracking through Leviticus, you've observed different types of laws given to God's people, Israel. There's the moral law, laws that we Gentile, we pay close attention to. There are the civil laws, laws that certainly we glean from for societal peace. Dietary laws that really don't pertain to us anymore. And then there's ceremonial and priestly laws that we, well, we, sometimes we scratch our heads and think, why the heck am I reading this? But let me encourage you with what pastor teacher John Corson writes. The Old Testament paints material pictures of New Testament principles. Leviticus 21 spells out regulations and qualifications for Levitical priest and may seem like an irrelevant Old Testament picture. Let me challenge you and say that there are principles behind the picture that can bring us New Testament ministers and ambassadors into a healthy place as we represent our God and our Savior. Verse 1 says, None shall defile himself for the dead among his people. The idea is the priests were not to touch or be around dead bodies. May we not defile ourselves by close association with the spiritually dead, except to display love and be on mission for Jesus. Verse 7 lays out expectations for the priests to have a godly marriage. May we be mindful of, lift up, and allow the Lord to make our marriages holy. And may we pursue a godly spouse so that our marriages are set apart for him and for his service. And then last, verses 10 through 24 spells out the many qualifications and eliminating factors in order to be a priest or a high priest. You can have no defects, no defects, blemishes, or illnesses of any kind were allowed. The priest had a special responsibility to represent God before the people and the people before God. Therefore, they had a special call to, to, to holiness and purity and, and appearance. May we find great comfort that these factors do not eliminate us from being God's ministers. Hebrews 10 verse 10 says, By His will we have been made holy through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. He was perfect. And Hebrews 5, 1 through 5, beautifully spells out Jesus' qualifications for being our high priest. He was called, appointed, and glorified by God. Jesus perfectly fulfilled the law, assumed the role of high priest, and became the unblemished lamb that allows you and I to be holy before him. May we closely study this Old Testament picture of priestly regulations and qualifications found in Leviticus 21, and may it move us to walk out our New Testament principles. So finally, may we walk in God's holiness and set our behavior aside for Him. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.